hello everyone welcome to home school we are with the chapter tissues under that we are with the last type of animal tissue that is nervous tissue very 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 important tissue guys okay say nervous tissue mainly consists of nervous tissue consist of brain spinal cord spinal cord and nerves and nerves so what do you mean by this brain spinal cord and nerves brain you all have an idea and what are what are these nerves and spinal cord guys say for example say if uh, if this is a person right and just an outline of a person i'm drawing right say here you have a brain right in the head region you have a brain and you have a backbone back side right so within the backbone you have a delicate structure called spinal cord right so this is your brain guys okay so brain is located in the head region okay uh, from a brain a delicate structure comes to your uh, you know a lumbar region lumbar region in the six back uh, above abdomen okay so you have a backbone if you touch your back you feel that backbone right from your neck area right it continues so within that backbone you have a delicate structure called spinal cord spinal cord okay and you know there are so many wires that arises from brain you know there, there would be so many wires coming from brain there are so many wires coming from uh, spinal cord wires coming from spinal cord and it moves to the leg region every region okay say from spinal cord and the brain many wires are coming and they are present in every region okay there is a wire connection till my uh, you know uh, tip of a finger okay where is it coming from it comes from a brain or it comes from a spinal cord okay and these guys these wires are actually called as nerves they are called as nerves got to know where are they present now brain is present in the head region from a brain a thin delicate structure arises okay which is uh, there inside your backbone okay that is called spinal cord from a spinal cord as well as a brain there are so many wires uh, that connects to, to every part of a body so these wires are called nerves guys so what is the use of this nerves what is the use of spinal cord and what is the use of a brain right so brain is at the manager of a body okay this is the main manager everything is there under the control of brain and spinal cord guys okay say for example the moment i saw my friend how how do i come to know that he is my friend because his picture would have stored in my memory okay so the moment i see my long friend i wave my hand right see what is happening inside the brain the brain detected that particular person's picture and the brain is sending signal to my muscle so the muscle is waving you know the muscle is working so i can wave my hand right so this much process is happening within a fraction of second guys see the moment i saw a person his picture suddenly detected my by my brain and the brain has sent signals to my muscle so the muscle worked and i am waving my hand you know this much is happening within a fraction of seconds so how is a brain giving signals guys say the moment i saw my friend i told the brain has given signals uh, to my hand muscle so the hand muscle lifted work and i wave right say so how is this brain is giving signals it is giving signals through these wires okay what are these wires called nerves isn't it so the signals signals are passed in the form of electricity guys inside okay these signals whatever brain is sending no to various parts of the body these signals are passing in the form of electricity okay so this is what we call nerve impulse clear everybody so what i can write here brain 
brain and sometimes spinal cord also spinal cord help in giving in giving signals signals okay to all parts of a body to all parts of a body okay uh, and these signals these signals are passed passed through nerves okay so those signals electricity will always be passed through wires only so here inside our body what are the wires guys the nerves so through nerves the brain is sending signals okay say if i want to run actually brain has to send signals to the muscle tissue then only muscle tissue will work guys okay so for every activity that you do brain has to send signal sometimes brain and sometimes spinal cord also okay and how is this signals are carried they are carried with the help of nerves okay only then the muscle or a bone whatever is there that will work for the movement clear everybody so these signals are passed through nerves okay so your nerves are very very important guys right and signals signals are traveled traveled through nerves they are traveled through nerves in the form of in the form of electricity in the form of electricity okay so this is what we call impulse impulse signals are traveled in the nerves in the form of electricity guys that is what we call impulse clear everybody fine and now the nerves are made up of so nerve is very important here because the brain is sending the signals through these nerves only say one more example i give you you are very much hungry okay so the food is there in front of you okay so uh, uh, automatically the brain will tell you idiot food is there in front of you uh, it will give signals to your hand muscle it will give signals to your finger automatically you will put your fingers you will mix and you will start eating right so your muscle is working your fingers are working so who is giving signals to your muscle hand muscle and fingers you know the brain is giving signal brain is telling you yes or no only then they will work otherwise they won't work okay say these signals are carried with the wires what are the wires nerves okay so the nerves are very very important here right so nerves nerves are made up of made up of special cells special cells called nerve cells nerve cells okay so now we will talk about the nerve cells see these wires are made up of nerve cells guys wires are made up of nerve cells even brain has nerve cells spinal cord has nerve cell okay so the brain spinal cord and nerves this together we will call it as nervous tissue and each and every part of a brain spinal cord and nerves is made up of cells so what is that cell we call nerve cell okay so nerve cell is also called as nerve cell is also called as neuron remember this word guys nerve cell is also called as neuron and now let us study about the structure of neuron see coming to the neuron structure see neuron is a very very special cell guys because each and every nerve is made up of a neuron so through this neurons only the signals are passed okay the neuron see each nerve can be made up of so many neurons or the nerve sometimes is made up of only one neuron one neuron itself can be a uh, one meter long okay got to know so the nerve can have many neurons or each nerve itself is one big neuron clear yeah. 
Now let us see how the neuron actually looks like. You know, you will have a centrally a cell body. This is a nucleus. Okay, and from the cell body, you have certain uh, you know hair-like structures, guys. Hair-like structures. Okay, and these hair-like structures are actually called as uh, you know they are called dendrites. Say like this, a long body you will have and uh, you have an ending. So this is the simple structure of a neuron guys. Say so here let us label the parts and these hair like structures are called dendrites. Dendrites, okay. And this, uh, uh, this particular dendrites with this uh, area, okay, with the nucleus, the round shaped area with the nucleus, this is called uh, cyton or cell body okay and this long pipe like region is called axon okay and it has a protective sheet around we will call it as myelin sheet anyway now it is not required okay and this is called nerve ending nerve ending okay Clear everybody? So these hair like structures are the one which actually detects. Say for example, somebody pinched my hand. Okay. See, I feel pain. There is a neuron here. Okay. Uh, there is a neuron guys. Now, now is there. Everywhere nerves are connected. Right. So there is a nerve. Now in the sense nerve is made up of neuron. See, this hair like structure actually detects the stimuli. The pinching, the pain thing, whatever is there. No. Say, say for example, someone is kept on pinching me. So, the hair-like structure is detecting the signal. Say, the signal is going from dendrite to the cyton. Cyton to axon. Axon to the nerve ending. Okay. And here, one more neuron would be there. Right. It has dendrites. Dendrites would be there. Right. And one more neuron would be there. So, signal is passed from nerve ending to the dendrite of another neuron. Like that signal is going to my brain. And later brain is again giving signals to uh, take my uh, take back my hand. See if somebody pinches my hand I will not keep, keep my hand like that only. I will suddenly take out my hand. See how am I taking out my hand when somebody is pinching. Again brain is giving signal. Okay. So how is the signal passing? Signal is passing from one neuron to another neuron. It is reaching to dendrites. And dendrite is, uh, you know, it is giving signal here to my muscle tissue and suddenly I am taking back my hand, you know. So this is what happens inside. Got to know. So this is how the brain passes signals with the help of nerves, okay. So each and every nerve is made up of the cells called neurons. This is how the neurons look like. Okay, and uh, the more duties of neuron, more detailed study of neuron about the brain, about the spinal cord, everything you are actually going to discuss in class 10 syllabus. Okay, so as of now, just try to remember this much. The nervous tissue consists of brain, spinal cord and nerves and all of them are made up of very, very special cells called the nerve cells. They are also called neurons. Okay. And how does a neuron look like guys? You know, this whole portion is called cytar. These hair like structures are called dendrites. These guys are actually detecting the signals. Okay. And you have a long tube like structure and so on. And you have certain nerve ending also. Okay. Say always uh, the information is passed from one neuron to another neuron. If the nerve is made up of so many neurons, information is passed from one neuron to another neuron. If a nerve is made up of with a single neuron only, then information is passed at a stretch. Okay. So this is how information is passed from brain to all parts of a body. Only then the body parts actually work. Okay. Only then the muscles actually work in the movements. So, how is the movements possible guys? With the help of muscles, no doubt. But who has to give signals? The brain has to give signals. 
and how are these signals are moving with the help of nerves and how are the nerves made up of nerves made up of cells called neuron okay so this is how both nervous tissue and muscular tissue is responsible for various body movements okay and these are the four different types of tissues that we have learned epithelial tissue connective tissue uh, then muscular tissue and nervous tissue so all four tissues will work together inside the body for various processes to occur okay uh, only then when these four tissues work together only then our system will stay properly okay otherwise there would be some disturbances right so now i think you are in a position to tell the differences between the plant tissues and animal tissues right so how, in what way the plant tissue is different from animal tissue many ways different in their structure different in their uh, function everywhere plant tissues were very simple but animal tissues are not simple at all right so uh, i think after listening to these lectures about plant tissues and animal tissues can you be able to list out the differences between plant tissues and animal tissues on your own right so that is the homework for you all and uh, you can post it in a comment box also so let me check out what differences that you are actually giving on your own between the plant tissues and animal tissues right so i think with this you are very much clear with the cells and tissues so in my next class we will meet up with one more uh, bio chapter of class 9 thank you so much if you like our video please like share and subscribe our channel to learn the concepts in a easiest way and in a detailed way thank you so much